using the Invitrogen ProQuantum High Sensitivity Immunoassay Kit. Let's start with what comes in your kit. Inside the box, you'll find eight vials. The first bottle is the assay dilution buffer, used to dilute standards and samples. The three tubes with the blue, red and yellow caps are antibody conjugate A, antibody conjugate B and dilution buffer that will need to be mixed. Two vials of standard for two runs using freshly reconstituted protein. The master mix and the ligase in the purple cap will need to be mixed for the qPCR step. You'll need the following items to run your assay. Two 96-well PCR plates. One will only be used as a working plate. Calibrated, single and multi-channel pipettes, including ones capable of delivering 2 to 5 microliters. Two adhesive plate seals and one optical grade PCR seal. One low dead volume reservoir designed for small volumes. One 1.5 milliliter micro centrifuge tube. And a 15 milliliter conical tube a plate seal applicator and a PCR 96 well cold block to keep the reagents in the working plate cold. We will first show you how to use the ProQuantum Cloud app to help set up your assay. When you open the app, click on Get Started. The software supports you with a standard curve setup wizard. When you type in the kit catalog number, there will be a default setting. You can change the number of dilutions, rate of dilution, replicates and concentrations and click Next. Design your plate layout either in automatic or manual mode. We'll show you an example of running an entire 96-well plate with unknown samples in triplicate. Designate groups by colour for any downstream statistical analysis. Once complete, save the plate layout. Get customised lab bench instructions based on your standard and plate designs. We'll use 5 microliter assay volume per well in this example. You can print these instructions and take them with you to the lab bench. As a reminder, wear gloves and be sure all materials coming into contact with the assay are DNAs and RNAs free. All reagents will need to be thawed, except for the ligase, which should always remain on ice. Centrifuge all of the 2 milliliter tubes to collect liquids at the bottom. Keep reagents in an ice bucket. We recommend setting up a working plate to enable multi-channel pipetting. Column 1 is used to make the antibody conjugate mixture. The middle columns are reserved for the unknown samples. The last column will be used to create your standard curve dilution series. First, reconstitute the standard with assay dilution buffer. Invert five times and let it sit for 15 minutes. During that time, Create the antibody conjugate mixture by adding antibody conjugate A and B and the antibody conjugate dilution buffer in a 1.5 milliliter micro centrifuge tube and pipette up and down. Transfer 80 microliters of the antibody conjugate mixture into the designated wells of the working plate. Next, dilute your samples tenfold. Dispense 45 microliters of assay dilution buffer to the wells reserved for the unknowns. Then pipette 5 microliters of your sample, making sure to carefully mix by pipetting up and down before discarding your pipette tip. To create your standard curve, add assay dilution buffer to each well, then add the reconstituted protein to the S1 well. Continue to serially dilute the protein, making sure to change pipette tips in between. Remember to include a background well. Cover the plate with an adhesive seal using the plate seal applicator to ensure complete adherence, especially along all the edges. This is important to avoid any evaporation and contamination between wells during the next mixing step. Adequate mixing is critical and can be achieved by carefully pipetting up and down at each step or by striking the plate against your hand three times, rotating the plate and striking it three times again. Then, centrifuge the plate at 3000 times G to ensure all the liquids are collected to the bottom of the wells and return the plate to the cold block. You're now ready to transfer the solutions from your working plate to the PCR assay plate. Using a multi-channel pipette, add 5 microliters of the antibody conjugate mixture to each well. Then add 5 microliters of either your diluted standard or the samples. Remember to use fresh tips between each transfer. Repeat the steps of sealing, mixing and centrifuging the plate. Incubate for one hour at room temperature. With five minutes remaining in your incubation, 
Add 5 milliliters of assay master mix and 30 microliters of ligase to a 15 milliliter conical tube. Gently invert the tube a few times prior to transferring to the low dead volume reservoir. Pipette 40 microliters into each well of the PCR plate, changing tips between each transfer. Seal with the optical grade seal, this time very tightly. Mix as before and centrifuge the plate again. Place the plate into a QPCR instrument. Set up a one-time ProQuantum template to collect all CT values as unknowns according to the instructions in the kit protocol. Launch the cycling run. Once the run is complete, save the data file onto a thumb drive to transfer to your computer. When you return to the ProQuantum software, click on Import the file from this computer. Apply the plate design that you previously saved. Verify that your standard curve and plate layout design did not change during the actual run at the lab bench. Now the software is applying the data to the specific plate layout and generating the curve fit. You'll need to qualify your standard curve. Under the action button, there's an outlier detection tool to help flag any wells you may want to omit. Once you're satisfied with your standard curve, your unknown samples will be plotted on the curve. You can toggle to the well table to examine your data more closely. You can also view your amplification curves. If you have groups to compare, you can click Next to view the statistical comparison. Go to the Actions menu to export your data into Excel and PDF or GraphPad Prism. You have completed the ProQuantum assay and analysis. For more information, visit thermofisher.com forward slash ProQuantum or contact our technical services team at invitrogenimmunoassays at thermofisher.com.